What is the most complex machinery in this universe? I have only one answer. It's your human brain. Yes, your brain is very complicated and it is a wonderful, powerful and valuable health asset of your body. You know, brain is a physical organ having a specific shape, definite mass and composed of countless blood vessels and nerve cells. It is also an infinite storage of knowledge compared to which the whole computer network in the world is nothing. You need to protect and nurture your brain throughout your life because a healthy brain is essential for a healthy life. When your brain is healthy, you can think well, communicate well, solve problems and learn and memorize faster. So today, I am going to present you 13 simple and practical ways to boost your brain power. Hey everyone, I am Arvind and this channel is all about helping you learn faster. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel and click the bell notification. This way, as I release more content like this, you will get notified. If you have any questions, ask me below in the comment section. Even though there are several ways to boost your brain power, I am specifically focusing on these 13 ways because they are easier and practical. Tip number 13. Play chess. While playing chess, you will go through several complicated situations. But depending on your creative thinking, you can visualize multiple steps ahead to tackle all the problems. Do you know what happens in your brain when you play chess? This game activates your major cognitive functions. You use your short-term memory for quick analysis of your opponent's moves. Your long-term memory helps you to counter-attack with strategic moves. Your visual spatial abilities help you recognize potential openings. You think creatively to make strategic movements. That means this game involves some mental gymnastics. Suppose if you are playing an official tournament, it involves some specific rules and time limit. So your brain should be fully focused and alert. Otherwise, you cannot give your best performance and naturally it gives your brain some stress. But don't bother about it. But remember, some stress is good for your brain. Tip number 12. Be friend with intelligent people. You might have heard an old saying, you are the average of five people you spend the most time with. There is another saying, tell me who your friend is, I will tell who you are. The meaning is very clear, right? That is, your habits, thoughts and life depend on the people you hang around with. If you are spending time in the company of bad people, the chances are, you will pick up some of their bad habits. Whereas if you are in the company of good people with positive thinking, intelligent and uplifting, it will definitely have a positive impact on your habits, thinking and actions. Positivity and intelligent thinking improve the cognitive function of your brain and boost its motivational area into action. So always be in the company of good people. Tip number 11. Learn a new language. Learning language is totally a neurological process. It means practicing a language is a mental exercise that gives some gymnastic effect to your brain. So whenever you speak, read or write a new language, your brain makes new connections countless times. It overcomes a number of challenges and creates new ideas. A recent Swedish study examined a set of students when they started to learn a new foreign language. Their brains were scanned before and also after three months after start, they started learning. And you know what they have observed? The brains of the students who learned lots of new words showed significant neurological activities, which is very good for your brain. Tip number 10. Physical exercise. Do you know what changes take place in your brain when you do physical exercise? Physical exercise increases your heart rate and you sweat a lot. This increases the blood flow to your brain and your breathing rate increases. As a result, more oxygen is pumped into your brain which increases the production of neurons. Several researches are being carried out to study the impact of physical exercise on your brain. A study conducted at the University of British Columbia revealed an amazing fact. The researchers found that regular aerobic exercises boost the size of your hippocampus. Hippocampus is the part of your brain involved in memory and learning. So make it a habit to do physical exercise regularly. And remember, doing physical exercise in the morning hours increases your brain activity and it prepares you for the rest of your day. What is good for your heart is good for your brain. Tip number nine, have your breakfast. Your breakfast is the most important meal of your day. 
it's a german saying and it is absolutely true you know why breakfast is the first meal of the day and you see you have already gone through almost 12 hours without food you are literally breaking the 12 hours of fast what are the benefits of having breakfast you know glucose is your body's energy source if you do not eat food for long hours your glucose level goes down and when you take your breakfast it restores your glucose level you must remember that glucose is necessary for your brain to function and also to boost your energy levels several studies have shown that breakfast improves your concentration and memory it has also been found that students who skip breakfast fail to learn well avoiding breakfast leads to a lot of problems you will lose your concentration and will fail to score good marks in exams it will also affect your behavior and emotions so never neglect your breakfast knowingly whatever be the situation tip number 8 sleep well how many hours do you sleep daily for a healthy brain you should sleep an average of 8 to 9 hours because it is an important process of your life and it has a huge impact on your brain health and many of your brain functions the quantity and quality of your sleep are the major factors that decide the processing and memory power of your brain how your neuron cells communicate with each other inside your brain depends on how well you sleep do you know what happens in your brain when you sleep your brain organizes your previous day's experiences and learning systematically this process improves your memory and also promotes the release of hormones regulating your energy and mood so you should sleep 8 to 9 hours because it is essential to increase your concentration creativity mood regulation and memory and it also improves your productivity as a whole tip number 7 learn more words how do you learn new words you spell it mimic the sound visualize the image and grasp the meaning basically you are engaging many areas of your brain at the same time do you know an interesting fact revealed by the researchers words have the power to change your brain yes it is true when you learn new words and when you have more vocabulary the density of your brain's gray matter increases it doesn't matter whether you are young or old it is irrespective of your age so make it a practice to learn new words it will grow your brain cells and improve your intelligence tip number 6 eat healthy there is an interesting fact about your brain your brain weighs just 2% of your whole body weight but it consumes almost 20% of all the energy you get from your food your brain needs a steady supply of glucose to concentrate and stay alert it needs proper nutrition for normal thinking skills the vitamins and minerals contained in fruits and vegetables are very important for your memory so if you want to improve your brain power and mental alertness you should include fruits vegetables nuts whole grain and fatty fish in your diet tip number 5 watch what you are watching a research conducted at tohoku university in japan reported that more hours of television watching will reduce the language skills of the kids do you know why it happens due to continuous tv watching some of the brain's areas associated with learning and memory like visual cortex becomes very bulkier it badly affects the verbal scores and iq power of the student it happens to all kids irrespective of their age gender and economic background so it is better not to watch tv for long hours tip number 4 keep your brain active scientific studies have shown that activities like sudoku word games puzzles can improve your brain function and protect the mind from cognitive decline in your later life those who are engaged in these brain activities regularly will have mental sharpness 10 years less than their age if you do your favorite puzzle your brain will be always active that means it will be much healthier and is unlikely to be affected by mental diseases it can even help you prevent mental diseases like alzheimers and dementia tip number 3 do drawing and painting when you are engaged in drawing you are involving all your brain parts together and it increases the neural connections in your brain when you are focused on drawing you are involving your right brain and hence it increases your creativity during drawing your brain releases positive brain chemicals like serotonin endorphins and dopamine which sharpens your memory and awareness so it produces an overall state of alertness 
that all of your other brain functions can be benefited. You can try to develop drawing as a hobby and help your brain remain active. Tip number two, read more books. As you may be aware, reading is a mental exercise that keeps your brain active and healthy. Do you know what changes take place in your brain when you read? The visual cortex of your brain is stimulated to recognize the words. When you read, several brain functions are involved simultaneously. You involve your visual memory and when you read out the word in your mind, it stimulates your auditory processes, lingual awareness, fluency, comprehension of the language and many more factors. So make reading a habit. It will definitely give you a healthy brain and sharp memory. Tip number one, be optimistic. You might have heard these words many times. There is a positive energy in these words. Being optimistic is good for your life and also for your brain. When you are optimistic, your brain produces lots of dopamine. Dopamine makes you happy, increases motivation and sharpens your memory. Since it affects your memory, it also affects your learning processes and how you retain the information. It increases your concentration and attention. You cannot concentrate on your studies if the dopamine is too low in your brain. So always be optimistic. If you think this video is helpful, then comment, like, share with your friends and consider subscribing this channel. If you have any questions, ask me below. Thank you for watching until the very end of this video. See you next week with another study skill video.